ang ating first quarter. Well, parehong kupunan, DJ galing sa panalo at yes. dalawang bayani ang nakita natin. Doon sa panalo nito, dalawang kupunan na ito, Gerald Hanika para sa Rocket Tech, when they beat San Miguel Beer last Thursday sa Lucena. Samantalang ito naman uh, sa Lucia Real Force, nakakuha ng bayani. The person of Dennis Espino, when they beat Alaska last Wednesday. Uh, parehong kupunan, very high ang kanilang morale with uh, both upset victory. Higangan, well, maybe Rocket Tech should have a statement about that uh, San Miguel Beer game but I think that was the only the second defeat of San Miguel so I'll consider it an upset victory for good alright so Matala it's a big Pablo nope try for Apita Ulava dun sa ilalim hindi rin pumasok at ito ngayon sa Santa Lucia Realtors bola na bitiwan ni uh, Derek Brown Apita Ulava now he takes control of the letter Jimmy Alapag Jimmy Alapag number in this conference have been going down as compared last year yung ating uh, rookie of the year last year those are some of the things na pag-uusapan natin as this game progresses this is Jimmy Alapag at first rebound but one of the worst if not the worst game of this conference uh, against San Miguel Beer he only had three points oh, yes. one out of five from the field and he only was able to dish out four assists and get one rebound as compared to his average of almost seven assists a ball game. All right, so Derek Brown just made it six zero right now. Due to stopping uh, on the first quarter, because the Indian Paulo Mendoza hitting a three pointer, and the number Gerald Alicat, put on Willie Miller. Willie Miller is that game against San Miguel Beach. Oh, good. And the Gerald Alicat. Well, height is might that time around. Only the first basket there for us to contact, but it's not an offensive rebound in the end. We've been getting that attack in the first time they played 67 to 40. Ang talaan sa rebounding. So I'm sure this is something na dapat makonsern ng realtors sa pag-dominate sa kanila ng bakit nag-punta sa rebounding. Derek Brown, second serving yeah. for the Santa Lucia Realtors, hitting that one off the miss. The uh, Gerard Francisco. Of course, ito panig ng Tony Tech Portal, CJ Hindi, but si Gerald Hanigan sa kanilang report, sa kanilang uh, unang pagkatanggol, right. was still Randy Holcomb. Ito ang bola, mailap, pero nakuha ni Jimmy Alabang. Set up job para kay Vic Pablo, who hits it from the baseline. Third straight uh, possession para sa phone pass na after they missed the shot, they have had a second chance opportunity. At uh, yun na naman, showing a little bit more hustle to start this ball game, even though lamang ang Santa Lucia, 8 to 4. So yun sa mga inoobserbahan natin dito, yung uh, dalawang malalaki isang magkabil ng kumpanan, yung Gerard oh. Hanika, yung Sierra, yung Asita Ulava, and as usual, yung uh, Twin Towers nitong uh, Santa Lucia, Realtor Dennis Espino, and Marlo Aquino. So kung meron tayong uh, respective Twin Towers sa parehong kumpanan, meron din naman yung phone pass na Twin, uh, twin small men na potentially dangerous yes, si Willie Miller na kasi si Willie Miller na pag sinabay mo eh, nakakatakot naman yung Willie Miller Paolo Mendoza and off makapunta rito kay Marlo Aquino goes straight to the basket, sidestepping move and Santa Lucia makes it a 6 point game 10-4 with almost 3 minutes gone by the deciding first quarter of action Si Marlo Aquino, isa pang mamang to na napakaganda ng laro niya kalaban ng alas. Again, 22 points, 7 rebounds, 3 assists, at this and 6 shot block. Anin na supalpal. It's Paolo Mendoza with a runner! Nakakaraparo nito si Asi Taulava. Very aggressive ang panimula nitong uh, Santa Lucia. Benji, though they're not waiting too long, they have the opportunity to take this open shot right away. And they're up 12 to 4. 34 minutes gone by in the ballgame. And 5 points para kay Paolo Mendoza. Oh. Willie Miller. And this is Jimmy Alapat. Marlo Aquino. So yun ang inaasahan din itong uh, panig ng uh, Target Tech Sota for Jimmy Alapat to get back his in-game. Kung paano siya nanalo ng Rookie of the Year last year. Sa matala ito si Derek Brown. This is the usual thing that we get to see him. Very dangerous move and very difficult to guard. Yung kanyang step-back three-point jumper. 
Ocho, uh, ocho puntos se toma la manga en el Santa Lucia Real, que es Willie Miller. Finds himself open, pero el short jumper, tipo más up. Big Pablo. Keeping it alive, para the top, it takes four shots, and he hits another baseline jumper. Fourth opportunity, mira man, and four shots to get the second chance possession there. At si Willie Miller naman yung tira niya pabase, eh. Pangalawang best of the attempt nun, parang pinipay niya, no? Oh, man. Siya libre, parang may ilang siya sa pagkalibre niya. Samantala, si Paolo Mendoza. Ay, maganda. Shooting dito magkabilang ko pa na na ito. Paolo Mendoza. Yes. Si Nami mo pa. Magkakaroon ng turnover and talk and check his phone, pal. Well, itong si Paolo Mendoza. He's the kind of player that coaches love to have as a zone buster. It's a two-three zone itong talk and check niyo. And if you have a deadly spot-up shooter like a Paolo Mendoza, You'd love to have him floating around in your wings in the corners of your offense to get those three-point shots. Then it's been an outgoing to Javad Francisco against the two towers, the top in tech. Cobra yung kanyang tira. 17-9 in favor of Santa Lucia Realtors. An eight-point lead. Gusto mawasan ang pontas. Same spot. Same result. Big Pablo. Pangatlong pagkakataon na yan na makapukol from that exact same spot. And he is three out of three from that area. Seven points na ang simula ng ball game Big Pablo. Big Pablo has 13 points when they went up against San Miguel. His best outing yet this year, no? Amantara, ito si Derek Brown. And beat this with a three-pointer. Jimmy Alapak. So I was going to foul him into a foul. The hand off there to Gerald Honeycutt, resulting into a foul to say Lalim. Marlo Aquino will pick up his first personal foul and the first team foul called against Santa Lucia Realtors. So, mabilis yung pace ng ating ball game. We start off the first six minutes. And normally, you think this would go to the advantage of uh, the team who likes to run more. But if you look at the stats in the last game, mas maraming fast break points itong uh, phone pass. As compared to the real girls, it is 20 to 9, if I'm not mistaken. 18. 18 to 9. Mas doon pili nila yung fast break points ng uh, Santa Lucia. And the Tupon Pals actually are the fastest, well, if you could say that, team in the TV because they are number one in terms of fast break points, averaging almost 15 fast break points a ball game. Hot on their tail is Santa Lucia, third, averaging 14.1. We will really pretty much expect a high octane ball game, but you can think of the big men, like this guy, leading the break for the Tupon And Miller at the finishing end of the month. To score his first basket of this ball game, and all of a sudden, can you know one year? Then we'll focus on the Mangal Santa Lucia. In a blink of an eye, the basket of the face of the ball pal, the nakatulong sa kanila paghabol dito. Matanda ito Derek Brown, si Jimmy Alapag, nakaharang sa kanya si Jimmy Alapag, matatawagan with a foul here. That's only his first. Para sa talk and text, they will pick up their second team foul. Because Willie Miller had 14 points in that ball game, five in the live last 23 seconds, and of course turning out to be the hero. So Matala field goal shot, and Maki Gita has 6 to 47 of 11. At ito, Dennis Espino just made it a four-point game. So yung kanyang unang dalawang puntos. We're inside five minutes into the last first quarter. It's interesting na Benji na kofocus ang shot ng phone pass dito sa left corner ng offense nila. Pero mapipunan mo, may meron na yung dahilan dyan kasi nagtututri zone itong Santa Lucia. Yung mamang nakabantay dito sa corner nila is Dennis Espino. As compared to the other corner, it's gonna be Derek Brown. Since mabagal-bagal itong Espino, pag sinatake nila yung pag-kick out sa outside shot kasi he's a slower guy to come out and challenge the shooters as compared to doing it on the other side against Derek Brown. So, Matala... Oh, it's not a good thing. It's three from Pablo and a couple more from the others. That's why I can see Dennis Spinner and Malo Aquino are in the middle. Okay, so let's go, my friends. This is 22-17. Earlier, Paolo Mendoza hit another three. Three from Pablo. 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 
Brooks. Paolo Mendoza is uh, running for set from the uh, three-point area. Three out of three. Gerard Francisco. That one is short. Now to the Mercy Marlo. With the reverse. Sakit sa ulo yung ganung situation. Kapag nag-zone na ka na nga, you're expecting to be able to rebound the ball better. But it's really actually harder to rebound. Kasi mas mahirap mag-box out kapag naka-zone na. Hindi mo lang kung saan mag-aaling mga tao. Tulad na nangyari to Marlo. Walking into the rebound. But this time, ito may init eh. Kung may adjustment man na ginawa ito sa Talos Sea Realtors after the timeout, na lumabang sila ng pito, ito si Vic Pablo. Kailangan pag-usapan nila yan. Ano? Nakakarami na ito. Siyam na puntos na. Siyam na already. Eh, 13 yung ginawa nila. Grabe naman yung ginagawa ni Vic Pablo. We still have 3 minutes and 18 remaining dito sa ating first quarter. It seems like ito si Vic Pablo. He just keeps on getting better. Boundary na ng kanyang average. 9.7. Ayun ko na Paolo Mendoza, siya naman ang may mayinit na kamay para sa Santa Lucia Realtors. Actually, on si Punto, ito si Paolo Mendoza. Derek Brown taking it strong against Rafita Olava. Ayan, nag-man-to-man defense naman itong talking set. Ayan, nag-adjust kasi na sa mga 2-3 zone. Pero kapo na po na ang gumabante kay Brown ay si Willie Miller. Ayan ko si Paolo Mendoza. He wants everybody to be there. And now, who is Marlo Aquino? Then he's just been able to be stuck from the outside. Asi? There's two towers there. And then, first of all, Miller, and first of all, two and a half remaining due to Sonic. First period, 10 seconds of shot. Oh, nice. Ooh, 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 Asita Ulava with a basket. There's the score. Five-point lead for Santa Lucia Realtors. Derek Brown, nine points. Sabi niya, ano nandiyan mo naka mag-dish ng assist? Malu Aquino scoring. Six points in the ballgame for the skyscraper. Wait a minute. Gerard Francisco, ayaw pang tanan. Ito si Jimmy Alapag. At siya matatawagan with that foul. His first. Marami tayong dapat ipaalala sa buong bayan. Yun nga, bukas, seleksyon, go out and vote. Uh, dahil uh, yan, eh, yung karapatan, dapat na gamitin ninyo. At uh, ano? Si YC. Ano? Si YC. Oo, napakasigaro. Pero hindi naman nananalo yun. Sabling vote uh, YC. Ilang tao lang ang sasabing vote si YC. Hindi naman nananalo si YC. Tingnan mo si Willie Miller. Ito, YC. So, last game versus San Miguel, he had 16 points. And yun nga, binabagin natin against Santa Lucia, he had 14 points. And including that last 5 points in the last 23 seconds. Yan ang guy. Joseph is the best player of the game in their last outing to Willie Miller. Kanina na ipakita pa natin yung uh, kanyang uh, heroic nung uh, talunin nila itong uh, panig na Santa Lucia Realtors in their first meeting. At syempre, another paalala dahil naalala lagi natin ang uh, bakit tayo natito ang ating mga nanay. Yes. Happy Mother's Day! Mga wow. nanay. At uh, ito, nanay ko po. Anong nangyari ron? Para rin po kay Patrick Fran. You know, we've seen a, a, a lot of hard falls uh, in the last, you know, recent years in the PBA. Buti na lang, bago na flooring ng PBA. Oo nga eh. Kung hindi nyo, eto mga kaibigan, hindi nyo na nalalaman to na ang flooring ng mga basketball court nowadays, talo na sa mga professional arenas, like in the NBA, and even here, world standards na po tayo. Ang tawag ito, maple wood flooring. Mas may, mas may uh, give pa yan eh, mas may spacing pa yan between that and the cement. So, Kung matatapakan nyo ito, matribulo nyo ito, kahit mabagsakan nyo, mas hindi nyo na mas may cushion, kumbaga, ang bagsak nyo. Kaya mababasin nyo, kahit nagbabagsakan yung mga player natin, nagkaroon tayo ka agad. Eh kung nangyari dati yun sa old scoring ng Armeta na practically wood on cement, aray, masakad yun. Masakad yun. Masakad yun. Gerald Hanigat, kung gusto nyo rin masaktan with that three-pointer, itong panig na Santa Lucia Realtors dahil dalawang puntos na lang ang kanilang kalamangan, the one shirt. Samantala, ito, 7 second shot up. Dennis Espino finding a way to hit that one at close range. Nice way to break the double team there para kay Dennis Espino. Dennis Espino, meron ng apat na puntos dito sa ating uh, first quarter. Honey Cup with another uh -oh. three-pointer. Ayaw na. And again, uh, pansin mo, Ben, the left side of the goal uh -oh. ang inatake nila yung side to Dennis Espino. They're trying to pull him out of the zone. Chito Victorero coming off the bench para kay Coach Al Francis Chu at naambush ito si Marlo Aquino ni Willie Miller at nakuha ng tuluyan ang full pal sa bola. 
Rapid run. Anthony to Gerald Honey. Cut inside to Vic Pablo. They go to Yancy De Ocampo. A back fan. Missing with that baseline jumper. Gerard Francisco. Derek Brown. Drop pass, Gerard Francisco. For me, he's not to get that basket. What a play there by the Santa Lucia Realtor. Sloppy but effective. They still got a two point in that Pacanaza uh, area. And then he will decide to pass at the last minute. Ayun, nali libre yung kanya mga kampi. Kaya may three point play pa. Itong si Gerard Francisco right now para sa Santa Lucia Realtors. Eh, kung mag-average ka ba naman ng 38 Kaya point eh. ball game, grabe nga naman. Itong Santa Lucia, they still have a couple of fouls to give sa menyos ng atong si Coach Alphonse Chua sa mga players niya na 9 seconds to go, may fouls to give tayo para mahirapan itong uh, talking text ito, last shot. Let's consider, talagang matipid sa fouls at mag-abil ang papunan. Kaya mabilis ang mga pangyayari dito sa aning first quarter. Kompleto ang 3-point play para kay Gerard Francisco. To make it a seven-point game, Willie Miller set up for a perfect run. Blocked there by Gerard Francisco. He didn't have a gambit to foul. Where must make a gambit for a foul? As you see, Kenneth Hernandez coming in the ball game for the first time. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So usually, when he starts to see Kenneth Hernandez for about a couple of games, para kay Coach Al Francis Chua, pero comes off the bench. Honeycutt with a shot! Wow! 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 Uh, 33 to 28 ang uh, tinapos ng ating first quarter. Alan Salazar is in the ball game right now. Has only played four games this whole conference. Oh, uh -huh. Bigla nga uh, nabigyan ng pagkakataon ni Coach uh, Joel Baran na maglaro. I'm wondering why. Ball of Rena has yet to see action. All right. Chico Victorero is up against Tom Del Belano this time. Ito nga ba si Dennis Espino against Gerald Hanica. Kawala yung bola sa kanya. Picked up by Tom Del Belano. Trying to bring it closer. Most of it. Oh, dude. Di pinira. At alam sa lang sa kang bibira na sa respero. Sasablay. But he gets the ball back. Ito naman na yung left corner na yun na medyo mabagal talaga. Minsan pinatama sa Dennis Espino. Nagsubok pa sa labas. Eh, ako na naman. Papasakbuhin ninyo. Na to challenge those outside shots. And by this time, they should have already uh, taken note of that. Short for that three-pointer, para kay Gerald Hanika, and there's Derek Brown. Kanina si Miller ang bumabantay sa kanya, ngayon si Patrick Brown naman, ano? Well, yun yung strategy ngayon ni Coach Joel Brown. He wants a smaller guy against Brown to stay put and stay in front of him with his feet. Okay. Pero pag jumab siya siya, nandun naman yung help defense above the defenders. But at that time, yun ang problema naman ni Patrick Brown. Hindi na si Dennis Espino ang tao niya. At foul lang mga mga ibibigay niya. And he's trying to defend against Dennis Espino, who will be called for his second. Benji Santiago kasama ko si TJ Manoto para sa ating uh, first game buhat dito sa Big Dome sa Kabao, Quezon City umuulan sa labas ito sa Metro Manila at alam natin umuulan din ang blowout sa lahat ng mga nanay kasi it's Mother's Day today panantala ito ang duck and check ball pass the spin for Dome Bebinano nawala yung control niya sa bola Derek Brown quick to Dennis Espino off balance jumper no problem Six points for Dennis Domenes. Ito pa rin yung ating high-octane tempo ng parehong kupunan kapag may slight advantage abay pinatakbo nila kagad. Man-to-man na ngayon, nag-depensa ng Santa Lucia. Nag-adjust na sila from their 2-3 zone. Malo Aquino against Yancy de Ocampo. Foul against Marlu, his second. Would have been foul picked up by uh, the real force. He's a starting uh, second quarter. Yancy tried to shoot a three. Nandun pa rin si Marlu Aquino sa kanyang harapan. 
Tapi dia macam dia, para umat tangga. Jangan dikatakan dia sedang berusaha untuk melindungi bola. Hei, kita kembali ke sana yang bola. Dan dia stops it in. Parang boomerang, ya. Dia akan kembali ke sana dengan tidak ada usaha yang berusaha. Two slam dunks, nakita natin kay Gerald Honeycutt dito sa ating first half of action. Tatlong puntos na lamang, ito kalamangan ng real tour. Chito Victolero. Malo against Yassi. Espino na, bitiwan na naman yung bola. Uh-oh, ito na, goodbye. Gerald Honeycutt with another jam. And now it's just a hairline lead na lama para sa Real Tours. 15 points na ngayon para kay Gerald Honeycutt and it's paying off also with his effort on the defensive end with the hustle there. Initiating a steal against Dennis Espino. Espino, top of the key jumper, wala. Derek Brown and Gerald Honeycutt fighting for the rebound. The tambola, lalabas sa end line. A couple of uh, plays na nakita natin. Ito si Dennis Espino committing a turnover. Nawawala sa kanya yung bola. Kaya pinagpahinga muna siya ni Coach Al Francis Chua. Ito ka naman pasalamat kay Ate Shena. Wow. Si Ate Shena isa sa pinaka-creative na tao na kumain kapag nasa ballgame. Ngayon, <laughs> ang inahain niya, si Niguela. <laughs> Paano Aquino, finger roll block there by Gerald Honeycutt. At lalakihan dun sa ilalim. 35-34 ito, talking text phone calls, looking to take the first lead in this offense. Short para kay Yancy Deo Campo. And Derek Brown, si Derek Brown, meron siyam na punto, si the first period. Tatagtagan niya yan, he will make it 12, hitting a three-pointer. Akala mo, nanahimik na si Derek Brown, a guy who's averaging 38 points a ball game. Aba, eto na. Uminit na naman at pumukol sa first first field goal here in the second quarter. Inilayo niyang bahagya yung kanilang kalamangan, magkaka-turnover pa. Itong talking text phone towels with a bad pass there. And we're inside eight minutes, the landing first half. Gerald Honeycutt, of course, is exerting a lot of effort here to try to bring back his team. All right, that's the farmer's market. Mabilitay rock show. Mamaya, mamaya. Paolo Mendoza is back. Paolo Mendoza scoring 11 points in the first period. And this is Derek Brown. This one is short. Ball landing in the hands of Marlo Aquino. That one, he took it strong against Deancey Deo Campo. Marlo Aquino may 8 points now. Also a good start for Marlo Aquino together with Dennis Aquino who also has 6 points. Gerald Honeycutt missing from the outside. Derek Brown! Hey! Wow! You know, we're going to get the score. Well, that's only long two for Derek Brown. Derek Brown already has 14 points, 42-34. Yes! You know, this is Token Texas, the number two scoring team at 19.7 points per ballgame. Also, the Santa Lucia has a rank of 91.1 per ballgame. Ito yung binabanggit ko eh. Talagang uh, effort na ipinapakita nitong si Gerald Honeycutt. To be uh, a duel between the two imports. 15 points right now para kay Gerald Honeycutt. 14 para kay Derek Brown. At ito si Honeycutt. May three point play pa. So a total of uh, 18 para kay uh, Gerald Honeycutt right now. In the meantime, ito si Paolo Mendoza is up against Jimmy Alapaz. Marlo Aquino, wala. Wala na tapik. Last touch ito si Jimmy Alapag. Parang nang gigigil itong si Marlo Aquino. Oo. Yes, Yancy. Ang bilis pumihit sa basket. Hindi na naghihintay ng mag-iisip pa kung paano ang atake niya. Very aggressive. Alam niya kasi single coverage siya. Kaya walang double team sa kanya. Dahil hindi pwede pag-iwanan si Derek Brown. Oo. Titignan mo nga si Yancy Deo Campo. Tsaka si Marlo Aquino. Parang hindi dito sa earth nila. Oo. Oo. Hey, hey, sorry. Then they to mama, to mama na gusto ni Jack na. No can do, pero okay sa horse. Kaya niyan. Oh, may yarap na. Tawag mo inti rin yun. Tatama sa ring, tatama sa boy, tatama sa shot clock, tapos swak pa. Okay na sa ano yung billiard ito. Kasi April bata lang yun, walang problema. William Miller from the outside, nothing there. Tignan natin, ito tumatakbo na naman si Derek Brown. What we have told you, this is a fast-paced ball game. That's what we're seeing here. 
pareho pang matipid sa fouls although that time si Jan Cibio uh, Campo matatawagan with the foul ang napupuna ko lang sa fast break sa Santa Lucia no? hindi ganun kaganda ang transition defense ng phone fouls they're not very disciplined enough to guard or, or to check the guy bringing down the ball yun ang very big sa pag uh, defense sa fast break get the man with the ball kasi obviously siya ang pinaka deadly so, either he can take it all the way against you or you're giving him an easier time to pass that off to the guy spinning in the lanes or the trainer off to another double double uh, performance para kay Derek Brown as we take a look at uh, this is Felicitas Francisco the mom of Gerard Ay, Francisco ayan and Derek Brown continues to be hot especially here in the second quarter Anim na puntos na ini score niya dito sa ating second period eh baga halfway mark pa lang tayo nitong uh, quarter na ito 44-37 para Santa Lucia Who's going to take the shot? Jimmy Alapag Still going to be Gerald Honeycutt Let's go meron na tayong shot chart para sa talking text at the halftime mapapot si Moon Probably 75% of the shots have come from this left side. Ngayon kasi, ang nakapwesto na sa zone nila, si Hilmer, uh -oh. sumabagal-bagal na naman na big man sa zone. Marlo Aquino, sumalatsak! And Marlo Aquino with 10 points. He's oh, starting ball game up to Teca Muna. Kung sa ilalim, Wilmer Ong against, uh, well, he's a physical player. It's just Wilmer Ong. And he's Derek Brown, of course, the best scorer. Dito sa ating Fiesta Conference and his numbers. Pamiesta talagang score uh -huh. niya. Parang may Fiesta araw-araw kapag uh, umakamada ito si Derek Brown. In the meantime, assumption of the action here. Jimmy Alapag goes to Willie Miller. Asi Taulava still with 84 points. Man. Dito sa ating <laughs> game. Ito. And again, <laughs> left wing na naman, wide open shot para sa phone foul. Swerte na lang na sa Tulusia na Maganda rin yung offense na kaya hindi nakakalayo o hindi nakakalamang itong phone foul. And most probably, para sa mga fans ng talking text, they could expect a big game para rito ni Jimmy Alamar. Oh, okay, that's it. Nung last outing nila, 3 points na rin yun. 5 points na siya. Eto na naman. Oh! Kahit malo ang hino! Sabi ni Jimmy Alamar, anong sinasabi mo ng sophomore kids? Hindi mo sasakin yun. 46-45. Ito na naman, dikit na naman tayo dito. Threatening. Itong uh, talking text ball foul. Hindi pa sila nakakatikin ng kalamangan dito sa ball game na ito. Marlo Aquino is up against Tati Taulaba. Marlo Aquino, off the glass, masyado malakas yan. Ito na ang talking text ball foul. Jimmy Arapal, the mighty mouse. So look at that. Ako hindi na anticipate si Gerald Hanigat. Ito ito kayo si Derek Brown. Brown. Pumilat pa sa foul. Yan si Deo Campo with his long arms. Pinis ng aksyon. Kala ko nasa karera ako ng kabayo. Kapa yung gina mo na din. Gerald Honeycutt. Short to that one. So still, yung one point lead there. Yun ang parang barrier. Right. Yung Santa Lucia Realtors. Eto si Kenneth Dorende. Oh! Kenneth Dorende sitting this one. Joining the party. First two points of the ball game para kay Captain Marvin. At nakaagaw si Espino. So, let's continue with the party. Yung mga sinasabi ni Santa Lucia Real Torch dito. Dorendez. Nothing there. Pero last touch pa yata. Ay, di, jump ball. Ang itinawag dito. At hindi makadecide yung mga referee kung malinaw ba o hindi. Hindi na malinaw ang sino may last touch. So, jump ball. 48-45 Santa Lucia. It's Marlo Aquino and Asi Taulaba sa jump ball. Ayun, ito. Sabi niya yata yung uh, <laughs> naihip pa ng hangin niya. Medyo madraft minsan. Eh. Mahirap talaga. You know, it's one of the things that's very difficult uh, to perfect that. So, ito. Ito na yun. Ito sa Lucia winning the tap there. Espino. Oh, ang pabilis nga lang siya. Kaya ang si Deo Kapo. Now, si Espino may 8 puntos na. 50 points already for the Realtors with 3 and 20 to go here in the half. Alagaan, takas na score ng Pito. Asi, 4-3. This one is short. Takbuhan na naman. Derek Brown. Kinaliba, inabot yun ni Asi Taulaba and Willie Miller. Sa kabila naman ng takbuhan. Jimmy Alapag to Willie Miller. 
na boundary nyo yan. So, probably a career night para kay Hanika. Well, oh, hinahanapan din na maraming puntos. Ito si Asi Taulama and uh, Vic Pablo who just played uh, magnificently in the last outing of the first season. Yeah. Yeah. Very smart two-man game there by Winnie Miller and Jimmy Lapag. Si Vic Pablo na nahimik na eh, no? Oo, oh, na nahimik na. Although he had a hot start. Dennis Espino is up against Gerald Honeycutt here. Okay, Kamuna may foul, may bibigay. Ito si Gerald Honeycutt. Well, one reason din ba't na nahimik ang si Vic Pablo, he only saw two minutes of action in the second quarter. And hindi naman siya foul trouble, hindi naman siya foul trouble. Pero mas nabigyan ng pagkakataon ng play time ata ng second quarter na yun. Si Yancy Del Campo, kasabay si... Si Alan sa lang sanga, pinasok pa siya. Kasabay si Asi. Si Yancy, kaya medyo... Si Yancy ang pumwesto dun sa small forward spot. Espino, after curling, nawala sa kanya yung bola. So that will be a turnover. So two-point game, talk and check. Ang nakakalabang dito. They have to wait for two quarters na matapos bago sila makatikim ng kalamangan. Samantala, Gerald Honeycutt will be called for that foul ba? Speaking of playing time, kapo na po na. Hindi pa rin gagaroon si Bong Rafaela. Oo. He has played in all 14 games. Prior to this one, para sa Tonta. In fact, started in eight of them, averaging close to 17 minutes of ballgame. Pero hasn't been very productive in the floor. Benji, he's only averaging 2.6 points. A ball game shooting at the low 25% from the field. Of course, third quarter pa lamang tayo. A lot of things could still happen. We will try to find out. Those guys you're talking about, eh, magagamit. Samantala, ito. That uh, attack. The uh, Willie Miller. They foul na. Sir Ad Francisco matatawagay na kanyang pangalawang personal foul. And Santa Lucia, real person talk and text. Bila naman niya itang, uh, well, actually, no? Taplo para rito. Tama ba? Una pa lamang niya para Santa Lucia. Dalawa para rito sa panig ng uh, talk and text phone trial. Talk kami from Gerald Honeycutt. Samantala. Derek Brown pulls down the rebound. Now Santa Lucia is looking for the equalizer. Big three, the Santa Lucia was at eight. 12-4, yung ating score back in the first period. So shot clock, bumababa na para sa Santa Lucia, Gerard Francisco, two seconds! Hindi na rin ginayos ni Asita Olava dun na two seconds na lang shot clock. So no time sana for Francisco to drop that pass. Dapat sinaling siya lang yung jump shot. Pablo, the kick out pass deflected. And Paolo Mendoza will be fouled by Gerald Honeycutt. He wanted to give us that foul. Ayaw niyang uh, pakawalan itong si Mendoza to get the head start in the fast break para sa Realtors. And ito na, speak off. Since sinag-uusapan natin. Sabang Ravena, no? Ravena, yan. Nakikita niyo na sa ibaba ng screen, stretching, stretching and dyan. The official stable. Ready to check in. Mark Serrano also uh, is not suited up pala for this ball. He's still injured. He only played, has only played 10 games. He's missed four games so far. Para sa phone pass. Dito daw ba check natin kung ano nga ba pa nag-injury ni Mark Serrano? Oo. Dahil naglaro yan eh. Hindi may na pag-end son may ganti eh. At he was able to contribute two points. In how many minutes? Let's take a look. Played 13 minutes. 13 minutes. He's in street clothes today. Brown has got 18 points. At gusto niyang ipain itong deadlock natin at nagawa naman niya. So Bong Ravena is in the game right now, seeing action for the first time. And it's time to see Willie Miller. Nineteen points, twelve rebounds already in double-double performance by like Derek Brown. Jimmy Alapag from long range. Wala. Napakarami talaga tulakan doon sa rebound play na yun. Okay, may update tayo sa injury ni Tilan. Apparently, na-injure siya nung practice sa uh, nagkabanggaan sa ni William Cahizilla. 
at na-reopen daw yung tear niya sa kanyang MCL. Natuhod po yun yung MCL sa likod ng ACL. So, malalaman pa nila sa Wednesday kung gaano ka serious. Pero sabi naman ng kanilang mga trainer, it's not that serious. So, I do believe that was yesterday's practice. Yesterday's practice. Derek Brown, sabi niya, Ano, tinira ko nalang. Correct. Brown shoots from long range. Yes! And Derek Brown, patuloy ang kanyang magandang contribution for his team. He's got a total of 22 right now. Missing is Asi Taulava. Para ba kayo magkaroon ng magandang laro ng Asi Taulava at Jimmy Halapag eh. Well, tulad ng binigyan natin ng first half, si Asi medyo nahirapan dahil yung talagang zone defense nakakoncentrate sa kanya. And in fact, that was what it was for para sa kanya more than likely. Kaya namiesta naman sa labas yung kanilang mga shooters. Bong Ravena, nope. Malo Aquino pulls down the rebound. Four point lead for the real source, Derrick Brown! Down for the rebound. Bola mga pupunta kay Asi. Ito si Jimmy Alapag. Two on two here. Oh! oh really oh. ka! Pili itang ka ba sa akin? And Dennis Espino failing here. Pero natin si Paolo Mendoza. Now they go to Derrick Brown as he takes the strong shoot to. Hindi na po ba sa depensa si Asi sa Kasuhanika? Treat them all outside. Yes. Yeah. 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 Alright, balikan natin ang ating laro. 7 minutes and 14 dito sa ating third quarter. Bahagya lamang na nakatikin ng kalamangan itong panig ng talk and text sa pagsisimula ng ating third quarter. Now it's Santa Lucia na naman muli. Samantala, ano ba nangyari? Oh! oh! Derek Brown with a big shot na ba nasi tao lama for a moment na kala natin libre na. Wow! Ang to ang stay na. Just when you thought he got away for us. Lam, nagulat na nga po from the inbound. Dire-direcho, nandun si Asi Carmen Rowell, si Derrick Brown. Eto, wag ka maling nakala para kay Asi Taulaba. Ayun, ayun. Kakamali ka. Yo. Eto ngayon si Gerard Francisco. Oh, to Gerard Francisco, his output, five points so far. And getting ready para sa kanyang pangalawang free throw. Uy, wala siya na ipasok. Alapag, wait for his teammate. Alapag. So, Pong Ravena, tingnan natin. Ang hirap na kayo. Nagdatalawang isip na tayo dyan, talk and text. Oy, ito po. Another error on the part of Asi Taulava there. Samantala ito, Derek Brown. Asi using his left relief at Brown. Guarding the defender from the shot back with his body and having to release it with a tough release from the left hand. Just beat up. 68-60. And for Derek Brown, 28 points. Now, how much is it? To Gerald Hanikat with only 25. And Asi Taolava continues to be scoreless here in the third quarter. And it's fast. Oh. He only had two points in the second quarter. He was given a couple of chances, but, well, iba talaga yung pinapakita. Ito nga, banggaan sila ni Marlo Aquino. Let's see kanino. Marlo Aquino ba yan? And it's still going to be a sideline inbound, so... No break for Asi to yeah. make a trip to the line at least. That's the only problem here. We're here in the third period, 6.04 remaining, and Marlo Aquino has four personal fouls. Gerald Honeycutt against Dennis Espino. This is also a very interesting matchup here. Oh, Dennis Espino. Mahabol ba ito? Pangalawang personal foul lang namin. Well, in contrast to what the phone fouls were doing in the first half, when they were getting open shots in the wings and the corners, ngayon naman, medyo binagalan na ng pace nila. At ang focus na sa simple yung post-up lang. Since wala na masyadong immediate double team na pinapadala ng Reuters, walang ball swing na nagaganap para sa phone fouls. Bong Ravenna left open, Ayaw, and Gerard Francisco for the rebound. Still, they're boxing out there in the shaded area for Santa Lucia Realtors. They will call a timeout here. 
32nd time out, Lama. Push out Francis Jua. Scoring drought part of the front house. Paolo Mendoza. 11 points. So, tignan natin kung madadagdagan niya. Pero nakukontento sila na ito si Derek Brown ang tumitira. As always for the Realtors, but he missed some long range. Anapag to Willie Miller. Si Miller, aapat na puntos lamang. Ito ba itong medyo nalang nahinig? The hero of that first encounter and honeycut of the mark. Bumalik ang bola na kay Willie Miller. Ito si Jimmy Alapag. Sasalaksak. Challenging Dennis is being able to change his shot. To consider, wala na nga dyan si Marlo. Oh, Jack Patrizzo, wala Dennis is being able to push him foul there. Uli ka. Uli. Ay, hindi naman niya kailangan siguro gawin yun. Kaya niyang talunin sa talunan. Itong si Willie Miller, pag sa rebound na yun, nakapwesto naman siya, no? Pero parang panigurado. Binura na lang yun si Miller. At ang problema is, foul trouble na sila ngayon in terms of team foul. Uh -huh. Penalty na ang Santa Lucia, so free throws will be going the way of Willie Miller. Actually, in the same boat na. Yes. So magkabilang ko po na. Willie Miller has a line. Paano naging yung ating first and second quarter? Eh, ito. Kung five minutes. Uh -huh. Bumagal-bagal. Dahil nasa penalty na, ito magkabilang ko po na. Ito si Willie Miller is at the line. Just his fifth point dito sa ating ball game, shooting 72.5% and imagine yung last game nila when they went up against the Beermen ito si Willie Miller sa pag-umpisa eh, puro free throws nga lang ang mga puntos nito eh and finally when they needed him the most dun pa sa crucial stretch ito nga si Willie Miller ay gumana, turn out to be the best player of that one, at ito Alam mo, the phone pass have only scored 8 points in this uh, third quarter with, the, with almost 8 minutes gone by in the third quarter. So, in contrast sa kanilang high scoring the first half, no? Where they have 54 points. Oh, oh. Dennis is being a ball play wow. against Asi Taulaba. Asi Taulaba, kasi sa defense, parang... Asi, right now. Oh! Nagiging suki na supalpal itong si Asi Taulaba. Ang ilang dunk na yun ni Asi na nasupalpal kaya nga. Ito pa, Iko Adriano coming off the bench. Another surprise package para sa Santa Lucia. Tampo na ang kalamangan ng Santa Lucia. This is their new biggest lead of the game. And Coach George Banal. Well, 10 point deficit ang hinaharap ng phone towels and They've got to look back in what they did well in the first half yeah. that they were able to score so many points and stay in step with the realtors. And, you know, for one thing, they, they, were, they were quicker. They were more aggressive to the basket. They were more aggressive in the fast break. They shot better because they moved the ball around better. So they got to go and try to get those things back, moving the ball around well, patiently. And once they have an advantage on the open court, try to attack it aggressively. Points in the paint, as you see, the Realtors have it dominated 42 to 24. Para pang walang tao, walang bago. Para pang walang tao, walang bago. Paolo Mendoza hitting another three-pointer. Wow, what a game for Paolo Mendoza. Ay si Paolo Mendoza, now on the show, 14 points. 3 minutes and 18, dito sa ating third quarter. Wow. Ina-accept pa nila yung mga pagkakataon. They're just throwing that ball away. And turnovers are beginning to hurt them. They haven't had that many turnovers. Pero it's been painful. Eh. Kung kailan na bebuelo sila para makapag-hapon, tapos nakakastore pa itong uh, Realtors huh? those turnovers. Kiko Adrian. Oh! Ano ba yan? Suerte pa! Saman! 78-62. Wow. If you blink, folks, the, the Realtors have just blown this game wide open. They're up by 14 big points. Gerald Honeycutt, his fight continues, but all by his lonesome, you know, most probably the question running in his mind right now. What happened to my teammate? 78-64. Pico Adriano against Willie Miller. Shot clock is down to five seconds. Dennis Espino makes a move, short jumper, 
Voilà, en Wilmer ook. Dit zit al uit voor de regel, toch? Oei, oh, hij pakt er een vier en hij paalt hem in dosa. Nou, oh, oh, wat ben je? Oh, nou, man. Oh, man. Eto si Dennis Espino. Sabi ng pagkakataw din. Classic Dennis Espino move. Hilong hila doon si Yancy Dio Campos sa head and shoulder fake niya. Nako, may agaw pa. Santa Lucia Realtors. Talk in text. Calling apart. Santa Lucia. Everything is going fast. Into place. Another basket there. And Coach Joel Brown will have to waste another time out as he is aching to call one. Hindi na niya mahihintay yung quarter break. Eh. Gusto niya sana hintayin. Kaso napakasama yung tayo. Kaya napakasama yung nangyayari para sa kanila. Well, turnovers para sa top and check here in the third. Meron silang lima. Santa Lucia Realtors dalawa. As a 30-second time out nga na itintawag ni uh, Coach Joel Banal. Yan si Deo Campo heading his first basket in this game. 82-66 ang ating uh, laro. But this is just a third quarter. Pico Adriano. He's got five right now. Paolo! Oh, he overshoots. Yun nga lang. So it's still great effort. There's a part of Pico Adriano. Nakabul pa niya uli yung bola. O meron pang time yun. Malamang saan na pa rin yun eh. Kapag walk is straight pa sila eh. Ayan, isang minuto, eksakto, nalalabi sa ating uh, third quarter. Willie Miller. Is it just great defense or what? Dito, well, uh, it's, it's good aggressive defense inside, no, para sa Realtors. Kamalasan lang ng Hortas. Yung init ng kanilang outside shoot in the first half. Wala na, it's a second half. Wala na. Maagaw pa rito sa Santa Lucia. Ibala lang ka rin ang pagkakataon na maka-attempt ang talk and check. Pico Adriano, hand off to Dennis Espino. Wow! Pati ko naman yung mga napakalakas na hampas sa bola, hindi maagaw. Ay, ay. Kamay ni Espino. Tapos off balance na yan. Mara bibitawa mo na, pumapasok pa rin. Willie Miller, ayun, nilalagay na. Ayaw pa. Talagang iba ang kapalaran dito na magkabilang ko po na dito sa ating third quarter of action. Santa Lucia getting all the breaks. And Tom is six. What? Only six breaks. Only six points then in the last eight and a half of this quarter. So, well, first in the Santa Lucia. Kung tutuusin natin eh, matagal-tagal na na hindi nila tinatalo itong Tom is six. October 25, 2002 pa. Hello. Matagal na. Oo. Ganong kalupit. Actually, last season eh, head-to-head battle nito. Portillo. Puro talk and text yun. Tumaymat na lang itong si Codriano at ipit na ipit sa doon sa kanto. Good defense there. Well, it's got to start your defense now. You can't just hope and pray that ask you to start picking up defensively. You got to get defensive stops. You're down by 19 big points. Well, that's the way Santa Lucia Real just did it in the third, you know? First, okay, sige. Depensa muna tayo na maganda. Stop them from scoring. And then everything goes... Ganun pa rin, malaki pa rin ang butas ng ring para sa Santa Lucia Realtors. Yun. Naalala ko tuloy kanina nung uh, kinakausap ni Hans, ito si uh, Paolo Mendoza, patapos natin naman. Ang ba kinain ni Paolo Mendoza? Wala raw eh, wala raw sila kinain. Hindi yung pala eh, diet, <laughs> fasting. Hindi <laughs> naman to Holy Week, no? Di ba Mother's Day to? <laughs> well, may alas siguro after the game. Ah, uh, saka sila uh, ako yung key. First thing first. Wala raw. Hindi <laughs> naman. Okay, wala naman special. Sinorchat na lang. Ito si Paolo Mendoza, may apat na three-pointers na rin sa Peroteca. Natawagan mo na na three-second violation. Itong panig ng Santa Lucia. Pero kaya naman nasa floor pa rin si Kiko Adriano para sa... He was part of that big run that they had in the third quarter. Rick Pablo! Oh! Sige mo, ganun na. Libre ka lang, titira ka, sasupply. To make matters worse. Automatic turnover pa. Pero well, ito, ito mahirap talaga para sa phone pass mo. Dahil wala yung kanilang main anchor on offense. Si Asi Taolava. Wala yung kanyang presence inside. Eventually, papagkat yung outside shooting, you'll have to go back inside again. But when they go inside, there's nothing there. You only have six points for them. Well, better all. Now, Pugiko Adriano. Ayaw. Paolo Mendoza, nabitiwan naman yung boss sa buhan eh. Hindi. 
Okay, nabangan ko lang nga rito sa Santa Lucia pag umiscore pa si Wilmer Ong. Eh, parang sign na yun. Eh, Malapit na. Eh, di ba? Although, mahaba pa ito eh. Mahaba pa ito. Mahaba pa ito. Marami pong pwede mangyari rito eh. Baka magbago pa kapalaran ng Tokyo Tech. Special ito si Asi Taulaga. Ayan, ayan, ayan. 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 Tapi na kayo. Ang <laughs> gigil na gigil na. <laughs> Eh, yeah. pagsubukan nyo ako, pagigilin ngayon, parang gano'n eh, no? Ngayon lang ulit, gumalaw. Ang uh, numbers dito si Ate yeah. Taulaba. The last basket was way back in the second quarter. Yeah. Dennis Espino off the glass. Dennis Espino. Shot. Espino. It goes in. Dennis Espino. Oh. 17 points. Oh, 19 points para kay Dennis Espino. Paolo. Every break has just been going the way of the Realtors. We're getting loose balls, defensive stunts, steals, and in a man. And in a man. Look at time. Pero kailangan din siguro eh. Diyan lang natin. Mahaba pa naman ito. Nine and a half to manage this ball game. And in a man. Ito na ulit ang ipapasok eh. Pag ang dami ng pagkakataon na maibibigay sa'yo para tumira eh. 21 points. Alam mo, siguro kung boxing ko, parang gusto mo na lang itapon yung white towel. Sobrang bubog na yung bata mo. Sabi nga eh, sa boxing naman, only the referee can stop it. Ay, hindi ka ba pwede sumuko yun, no? Hindi, sasabihin mo rin sa referee. Pwede. Oo. Referee mag-i-stop the fight. Makikita naman yun eh. Doon po sa mga hindi pa nakakala, mayroon ko. Pro po, yun lang pa ni Manny Pacquiao. Oo. At saka ni Marquez. 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 Oo. At saka ni Eto, dito hindi pwede draw. Dito, eto si Taulama draw. Hindi eh, nung pag-ibaba siya. Wala yung ball ah. At talagang hiningi niya yun kay Don Dave Bilal. Sabi niya, sige na nun, bigyan mo para ma... Para naman ko naman ang mga feeling ng para makashoot. Eto si Gerard Francisco. It might not be easy again para kay Asi. Ngayon na nakabalik na yung Twin Towers na kanina pa eh... Gusto lang sila like poposa sa kanya. Sa loob. Jimmy Alapag, kanina na paupo rin ito ni Coach Joel Panala. He's back in the 12 points of the ballgame. He also has to get his game going. Miscommunication there on the defensive end para sa phone pass. Three things happen, you know, TJ. Only General Granica seems to be... Wala, siya lang, parang siya lang ka nandito, no? Correct. 27 points now para sa import. 30 na. At 30 pa na. Oo, 30 na. Pero yan, 25 at lahat. Yes. At lahat. Ayan. They're not going to challenge the shot and get defensive stop. Kahit ilang 3 points, he's shooting. Panlimang 3 points up there ni Paolo Mendoza. That's a big game for him. 97-78 inside 8 minutes. I don't think na sumurender na rito ang Tokyo Tech phone pass, but everything is just going the way of Santa Lucia Realtors. Grabe yung third over point story natin, Benji. 17 turnovers na ang kinibit ng phone pass, and the Realtors have scored 24 points off of those 17 turnovers. Sabi, naambus na si Dennis Pino, na ibigay pa kung siya po, na may foul na ibigay si Gerald Honeycutt. He tried to defend against Marlo Aquino. Apat na foul na ni Gerald Honeycutt. Parang ano eh, parang ang strange talaga eh, Dr. Jekyll and Hyde ang mangyari sa phone pass. So first half, mainit na ako. Running in all cylinders. Honeycutt was hot like a, anything. You know, everybody was shooting well. They had uh, Vic Pablo scoring well. Jimmy Alapag got 10 points in Radica Spigang. Second half. Parang iba ata recruit ang uniform eh. Hindi ba? Parang yike. Like iba ah. Oo. Ano ito mga clone? Hindi dumating dito. It's rare, no? That it happens that way. A whole team. Oo. Just collapse. Seven and a half. Dito sa ating ball game. And Gerard Francisco will commit his fourth personal foul. With a team foul here in the final period against Santa Lucia Realtors. Jimmy Alapaz. The honey got Pangi Singyan. Para sa mga kampanyas, he goes for another jam. 17 points pa rin ang inahapon nila. Still a long way to go, Ben. This is 7-12 left. Pwede pa. Pwede pa. Siguro na kayo sa matematik. Oo naman. But they also have to play defense. 
siya, gaya ng binabanggit ko, itong uh, Talk and Text Phone Pals will be uh, up against Pew Foods Sunday. Ba? Tagal-tagal pa. And then, Barangay Ginebra and Coca-Cola for their next three assignments. Ang Santa Lucia naman will have Barangay Ginebra on Wednesday and then FedEx and Shell. So, yun yung mga remaining assignment itong uh, magkabilang kumpunan. So, parang hindi masyado madali para sa talking text so, dahil may cook pa silang kalabay uh -huh. sa Ginebra. Samantalang ang Santa Lucia, medyo easier team in terms of share and use ang kasama dito rin sa nila. 19 big points na the big game para kay Paolo Mendoza at Jimmy Alapad. Wala. Andy hey. Gerald Hanigat. Ano ba yun? <laughs> Pinagaling uh, follow-up. Alam mo, swerte din ang phone pass even though the missing the outside shot. Saka nila mo mabagsak yung offensive rebound. Eh. Pushing foul is going to be called against Wilmer. Oh. May free throws pa po punta kay Asi? Yes. Ito, sa, pa, sa pabor pa sa kanila ito, nakatigil ang oras. Pagsagsag sila ng puto. Asi Taulava. So parang naibibigay na nga sa kanila yung opportunity. 69.4% from the line. Double-double performance already for Asi Taulava. Only had six points back in the first half. Hey! And Gerald Honeycutt. Hindi matatawaran ang kanyang ginagawa para rito sa Duck and Tech Boat House. Honeycutt. Unstoppable. It all has been Gerald Honeycutt. And those free throws, very important free throws. Doon pa sila nagbibigtis ngayon. Just when they needed it. 104-94, 10-point game. It's not exactly a safe lead para Santa Lucia Realtors. As you can see, the time remaining here, everything is still possible for the post house. Shot clock going down. Brown did not knock that one hey! down. Oh, he made some good pass. Santa Lucia Realtors, Kiko Adriano. Nagalit at si Monica Tisha kinawa sa teammate. Kaya na, ako sa likod niya. Wala lang sabi. Uy, nakapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapag
There's a big basket here. Scoops the zipper and from the general down he got oh! Okay. Si Taulava, sige. Okay. Seven with a minute and five to go. 18 points para kay Asi Taulava. Yes. Now si Espino, so they're going to make him nothing. They're going to make wala, him nothing. Paano ko team foul? Paano ko team foul pa lang nila yun? <laughs> Pangalawa pa lang. Oo. Oh. So, uh, fouling is not really an option right now. Well, in terms of wanting to put them to the line. Kailangan pa nila mangulek pa ng maraming foul. Tatlo pa. And they're trying to play good defense here. Oo. Oh. Okay na yung ginagawa ng traffic doon sa backcourt kanina eh. Alright. Yun. So, hindi intentional eh. yun. Mukhang hindi intentional pero matawagin na natin alapag doon. Pangatlong personal foul ni uh, Jimmy Alapag. Only the 13th foul called against the phone towel. Ito ang bibilis na rin yun. Okay. Kapay. Kapay, kapay. Kapay, no, bago siya. Oo. Ito po ang nasip na rin. Ito ang nasip, di ba? One more? So they are now 5 feet foul, so... Isa pa. Isa pa rin. Shoot pa lang on the stick. Hindi ba ang penalty, so... They just got into penalty. Ayan, si Marlo. Paolo nyo. Marlo, sa pagkakaalala... Hindi pa nag-free throw. Hindi pa nag-free throw. Hindi pa nag-free throw yun. Nagpapalik. Ah, meron. Alam mo yung misis. Meron? Wala nang mintis. Si Marlu. Oh, well. Oh, yun na nga. Best option. Oh. Zero for two. Zero of two. Ayan. Ayan. Sumaaring bawang dito. Ano ba? Ano ba? Ano ba? Anything still possible? 64.3. If you miss the boat, tapos maka-3 points sila. O di apat na lang. Diba? Sabi ni Marlu. Sabi ni Marlu. Suck na suck muna to. Saan ka na mag-calculate sa katapos ko na mag-screen? Oh, may ka na mag-action. So, balik na siya muli ang kalamangan ng Santa Lucia Realtors. Jam! Harry Bell ako missing with that jam! They get the ball back. Jimmy Alapag. Tries to hit a three-pointer. Yes! Ani na lang. 108, 102. Ani na lamang ito. Dennis Espino in the backcourt. Paolo Mendoza. Ay, naku, nakawala. Hindi na nakasaw. Derek Brown. Aangat. Oh! And fouled by Asita Ulava. Let Derek Brown go to the line. Well, they're not going down without a fight, that's for sure. It's all phone fouls. Down by 631.1 to go. Derek Brown has a long run. That's an awesome ball game for Derek White Brown. 40 points na. Ang nabubuhos niya para sa... And 70% free throw shooter. Ito si Derek Brown. Para bang talaga ano? Hindi parang sila na ubusan eh. Marlo Aquino zero two then pumasok dalawa. Now Derek Brown. Happy bigyan para sa pagkakatao. Two for two. So Walo. Thirty seconds. And the three pointer, but who's going to take it? And then tanak tak mo na. Jared Hani got. Quick two lamang. Sa anim ang kalalang. Score para sa pungpal. Let's see. Ang nakanyang diskate yan. Tignan natin. So there, Dennis Espino. Tatawid ng bola. Ang opposite may foul. Two free throws for Dennis. Foul on number three, Jimmy Alapag. Alapag. Panlimang personal foul na ni Jimmy Alapag. Well, one thing's for sure na hindi mangyara sa game nito. Hindi po ito magtatapos sa draw. Sura ko dun. Walang draw dito. Wala na sure dun. Yun lang assure dun. Wala nang iba. Kahit si Alex man na maging judge natin, 
kahit mang yung tatlong judge ng American Idol ang maging judge natin, uh, labo, walang labo. pro dito. Walang pro. Naku! Ito, withdraw. Na-withdraw yung kanyang power sa kanyang free throw, kaya na-short ni Espino. Still a two-possession ball game here. Six points. Importante ito para maging three possessions. Quick inbound. Jimmy Alapag puts it up. Wala. May foul si Alapag. That could be it. And Jimmy Alapag will foul out of the ball game. Alapag ends the ball game. 17 points. A much better performance from his last out against him again. We're in three points ang nagawa niya. Pero mabagal din bago nakapick up din to si Alapag in the second half. He had 10 points at the half. And then quiet in the third quarter. Somehow it feels like it's not yet enough. Oh. Dahil, uh, with only 15.5 seconds, ito si Paolo Mendoza. Sa uh, among the locals. Eh, siya may pinakamarami oh. puntos ba? Ah, hindi. Si... Ayan, ngayon, okay na. Ayan na. He's got 20 points. Well, itong uh, talking text mukhang uh, sila naman, eh, tulad, oh, yung, tulad ni Manny Pacquiao sa first round. Naubusan ng oras. Uh, diba? Kung may siguro, kung mabigyan mo pa na isa pang minuto at kalahati itong punta, eh, mas, mas may patakato ang patang makahabol. Willie Miller. Ito yung hinintay ng marami na pumutok eh. Uh -huh. Si Willie Miller. So one thing, siya pa yung hero. Ang ganda si Kostal! Yan na! Confirm na! After that miss and that fast break, Si Pantalo, si Ariel Torres, have to wait for... 